Peanut Butter and Jellyfish by Jarrett J. Krasowska. Peanut Butter and Jellyfish were the best of friends. Best of friends who spent their days exploring. Up, down, around, and through their grand ocean home. Unluckily for them, though, they lived near Krabby. You guys swim like humans, he would taunt as they slipped past. <laughs> Peanut Butter and Jellyfish did their best to ignore the heckler. Did you hear something? asked Jellyfish. No, must be the current, said Peanut Butter. Krabby was relentless. You guys smell like rotten barnacles, P.U. My grandma called. She wants her run walk shoes back. I've seen sea snails swim with more style. What a bunch of bubbleheads. Jellyfish puffed up his chest and said, Driftwood and sea stones may break our bones, but words will never hurt us. You're an invertebrate! You don't even have any bones! Huffed Krabby as he marched along his favorite rock by himself. One day, as Peanut Butter and Jellyfish set out on an excursion to the Great Reef, they swam past Krabby's perch. They braced themselves for the usual insults. But all was quiet. Then they heard the faint sound of sobbing up ahead. <laughs> it was Krabby. He was caught in a lobster trap and it was being lifted to the surface. Uh, I'm, I'm scared, he cried. Surely he was doomed. Should we help? asked Jellyfish. The two friends shared a look. He is in serious trouble, said Peanut Butter. You're right, we have to help, exclaimed Jellyfish. But how? I have a plan, said Peanut Butter. Follow me. They swam up to the lobster trap. Peanut Butter used his tail to unlock the trap's gate. But Krabby didn't budge. Come on, you're free, said Peanut Butter. But, but, I can't swim confessed Krabby, and I'm afraid of heights. The lobster trap was getting pulled closer to the surface. Plan B, exclaimed Jellyfish. He worked furiously on untying the trap's knot. Hurry, cried Peanut Butter. I can see the fishermen above. Just when all hope was lost, the knot gave out, sending the trap plummeting. Peanut Butter and Jellyfish grabbed a hold and lowered it to safety. Krabby's legs wobbled as he returned to his favorite rock. The thanks you to do, he stuttered. You know, I'm sorry for saying those mean things, Krabby said. He may have been afraid of heights, but Krabby was brave enough to apologize. I, I guess I was jealous. You guys seem like you're always having so much fun exploring the open waters. Well, there's plenty to explore close to the ocean floor, 
said jellyfish. Peanut butter and jellyfish still swam up, down, around, and through. But it was on the ocean floor that they found their greatest treasure. 